Hey guys, welcome to FM Driving School. So today the PM is talking about a third wave of the coronavirus potentially leading to another lockdown. We're just going to assess if that is the case on the news and if so, how does it affect our driving? Um, could we get our driving license done before the lockdown happens? So let's see what they're saying on the news. Yeah, Boris Johnson has warned the effects of a third wave of coronavirus will wash up on our shores from Europe. The PM has said the UK should be under no illusions we will feel uh, effects of a growing case on the continent. One of the ministers, Lord Beth, uh, Bethel, also warned the UK might pull, uh, put all our European neighbours on the red list of countries oh shoot, where arrivals are either banned or put in quarantine hotels. The comments come amid a row over COVID-19 vaccine supplies in, e in the EU. Um, let me see what else they're saying. Let me just, uh, let me go to Sky News. Let's see, let's see what they're saying in, on, on Sky News. Boris Johnson has reassured EU leaders don't want to see a blockades on the experts of COVID vaccines as he, as he warned a third wave of infection in Europe would likely hit the UK as well. Hmm. I made a dispute over a possible block on exports of coronavirus jabs to the UK. The Prime Minister said that he had been reassured by talking to EU partners over the last few months that they don't want to see the blockades. He stressed uh, the UK was on course to vaccinate the top nine priority groups, including all over 50s by 50th of April, while the government would bash on with its roadmap for lifting lockdown restrictions over the next three months. Mr. Johnson said uh, he had talked to EU leaders repeatedly over the period, adding we're all facing the same pandemic, we all have the same problems. Okay, so it's a little bit more positive on, on Sky News. I think one thing worth stressing is that the continent right now, you can see sadly there is a third wave on the way. Uh, oh. Okay, and people in this country should be under no illusion that previous experience has taught us that when a wave hits our friends, I'm afraid it washes up on our shores as well. I suspect we'll feel those effects in due course. That's why we're getting on with the vaccination program as fast as we can. A vaccination campaign developing vaccine rolling them out. The, uh, these are intentional international projects and they require international cooperation. So this is interesting. Both France and Italy have recently been forced into new lock, a new coronavirus restriction amid a rise in the cases and the slow rollout of the vaccine across the EU, an issue that has helped heap huge pressure on European Commission President um, Ursula von der Leyen. All right, so it looks like France and Italy um, are back into restriction. Yeah, the, Prime Minister, the Irish Prime Minister on Monday described an EU export ban on COVID vaccine as a retrograde step. Describe an EU export ban. But he called on the UK to replicate on vaccine produced in Britain. All right, so every country, uh, country is trying to look after its own citizens. That's what it's trying to imply. The EU has played this straight. And I think the UK need to replicate in terms of vaccines manufactured in the UK, particularly the AstraZeneca vaccine. Let's see what this um, chart is. The UK leads in total vaccine vaccination doses relative to its population compared to um, other European countries. So that is actually a good sign, no? Let me. Uh, it leads in total. Hundred forty. What? Forty four. There's probably a number missing here. Probably four four four. Um. Let's see. We're just back on the BBC's website. We're just gonna um, go through the analysis by um, Ian Watson. What they're saying um, in regards to the potential of a third lockdown um, and Boris Johnson's statements. Okay, the prospect of a third coronavirus won't engulf anyone with joy. So why did Boris Johnson highlight this danger today? Private, privately and publicly, ministers are making it clear that they don't want to delay the dates in England's roadmap out of lockdown. There will be a vote in Parliament on coronavirus restriction later this week. So by stressing the risk that the virus still poses, the PM may be hoping to convince restless bench backers that he can't go any quicker. He may also be trying to persuade vaccinated people that with each fee that booking spring or summer holidays would uh, still be premature. He is preparing us to for the strong possibility that cases could rise in the coming weeks, not just because of the incoming risk, but because rules here are being slowly relaxed. 
but by stressing the shared threat from the coronavirus, i.e. the sooner the EU population is vaccinated, the less chances of importing a third wave. His comments would be also be clearing the way for more EU-UK vaccine cooperation and the closing and the dosing down of inflammatory rub with Brussels. So um just from what I'm reading so far in terms of driving third lockdown um, the roadmap it seems like the th- roadmap would go ahead um, for now so 12th of April is when everything um, reopens so you'll be doing your driving lessons from the 12th of April and you'll be doing your driving tests hopefully from the 22nd of April and your theory test I think correct me if I wrong, guys comment below it starts on the 12th still um, but what uh, Boschus is uh, making us aware of is there may be a potential of a third uh, maybe even the fourth, sorry, fourth lockdown, a third wave of the coronavirus. If that is the case, um, we may go under more restrictions again. What does that mean in terms of our driving? Well, clearly, we won't be able to take driving lessons and driving tests. For now, um, I'll say let's be slightly optimistic with a hint of caution. So if you've got a test coming up in April, I would say definitely try to get out the way, try, try get the lessons out the way, the test, before potentially another lockdown does occur. If you've got theory test booked, um, revise for it thoroughly, thoroughly, and don't fail, guys, because get out of the way. So um, if there is another lockdown, at least you pass a theory test, and then by the time the restrictions open up again, you'll be ready for the practical. Those of you who got practical coming up, make sure you prepare for it thoroughly, because you don't want to fail, you don't want to prepare for the driving test and then fail and then potentially have to wait very very long time for another driving test so definitely um, try to get the driving test and theory test out of the way if your theory test is running out um, there's no way of extending it unfortunately as we've seen in the past um, they're not going to extend it at all All right. so it obviously it's best to try to get your driving test out of the way if you got a test booked in a- April, May, June and july that kind of time just get out of the way prepare for it thoroughly um, as you know there's a lot of resources online my own site fmdriverschool.co.uk we're always here to help you can always comment and um, ask me questions and i'll try my best to reply to you don't forget also you can always check out fmdriverschool.co.uk so this is our site fmdriverschool.co.uk check it out uh you know we've got loads of free resources so we've got a lot of free resources so if you go to how to drive um, what is clutch control how can i expect to uh what can i expect in my first driving lessons uh random bus, how to do parallel park show me tell me questions so many free resources do check it out um, with fmdriverschool.co.uk um, also check out other YouTube uh, videos out that way it will just prepare you if you've got a driving test or a theory test coming up you'll be at least prepared for it so check out fmdriverschool.co.uk